team. That culture of the bloods. That's what it's all about. Well, firstly, you know, it's such a great honour to lead this football club. You know, being a co-captain uh, along with Kieran, you know, I hold that, um, you know, really close to my heart and in high regard. And um, so that, you know, first and foremost is, you know, something that I, you know, really do treasure. And uh, to lead this, you know, the boys out every week and to see the young players grow each week and their leadership skills, um, you know, something, um, you know, that I take very seriously and I'm so proud to be able to do. The attacking 50. Oh, well done, Pike. Well, a couple of years ago, he couldn't have done that to McVeigh. Runs to 50. A couple of years ago, he could have done that. McVeigh, wonderful finisher. You know, I really try and set high standards for myself um, and also the rest of the team and you know, I really try and drive the players in everything we do to, you know, to aim for perfection. Um, always try and improve and, and you know, look, I'm a, a hard leader on everyone and myself um, but I also want to be a compassionate leader and, um, and you know, you know, see the guys on a different level because we've all got different strengths and weaknesses and you know, try and help the players in all different areas. And, um, and also use the other leaders in the group because um, you, know, you don't know everything yourself and I'm still learning as well. So that type of stuff um, you know, I've learnt over the course of the, you know, the few years um, you know, to bring other guys in and help you um, help me better understand others. Yeah, look, he's, um, you know, he's come on in leaps and bounds and um, you know, I was probably surprised that he got the job uh, last year but look, he's been unbelievable. His performance on field first and foremost has you know, really you know, went up to another level which was fantastic and, you know, just off field, he's still learning, still asks questions all the time. And but he's, you know, he's more of a person to show what, um, you know, leadership is. The way he's courageous, he's hard. Um, you know, all, all all those types of things. And this year, he's he's really brought on that level of communication to a lot of the young players and and just helping them out. There's a lot of guys who were who were very good candidates, and you know, that's a you know a great thing for us. I'm sure. Um, you know, someone will step in when I'm not there and, and when Kieran's not there we're going to have more guys coming through so hopefully that you know, succession plan will uh, you know, continue to evolve. You know, someone like Josh Kennedy, you know, he's high level performance every week, um, you know, he doesn't play a bad game and he's really smart off field, he knows the game, he knows how, how to read the players. Or maybe someone like a Luke Parker, um, you know, he, you know, very similar to Joey in the way they play um, but they've got a good knack for you know, knowing what the team needs and, and you know, good you know, certain words that, or, um, you know, things that'll get the team going.